find the exact value of the following expressions. In number one, we got sine inverse of zero. We know that sine of zero radians, sine of zero radians is zero. That means sine inverse of zero is zero radians. In part two, we got cosine inverse of root three over two. If you look at the unit circle, we see that cosine of some angle root three over two, that will be pi over six. Cosine of pi over six is root three over two. That means cosine inverse of root three over two is pi over six, 30 degrees. Tangent inverse. Uh, in the unit circle, uh, we don't have tangent because tangent is y over x. So you need to know the following four. I would just do the following, memorize. Tangent zero is zero because y over x. Tangent of pi over six, if you do y over x, that's one over root three. This is same as, so y over x and two to cancel on the bottom. So one over root three. And if we rationalize, this is same as root three over three. Tangent pi over four is one, and tangent pi over three is root three. Tangent pi over two is undefined, so you might want to <coughs> memorize these four. Okay, so so tangent inverse of root three over three is just pi over six. Uh, sine inverse of um, negative one half for sine and cosine inverse sine inverse and sorry ta sine inverse and tangent inverse We can pull the negative outside. I would just pull Sine inverse one half and go from there same thing here for tangent inverse pull the negative outside One and sine inverse of one half look at the inner circle we see that sine of 60 degrees, sorry, sine of 30 degrees, which is pi over six, is one half, okay? So this is negative pi over six. Sine of pi over six is one half, and negative is just from outside. And we saw here tangent of pi over four is one, so tangent inverse of one is pi over four, negative is there. Now cosine and cosine inverse, these two are inverses to each other. And as long as this is a nice number, we can just cancel. I mean, their actions cancel. And cosine of something, I mean, cosine of any angle, the value of cosine of this one is always in between negative one and one, okay? That means cosine of some, cosine inverse of something should be so cosine inverse of that, this should be always a number in between negative one and one in order to have some value, okay? So two thirds is in fact in between negative one and one because two thirds is less than one. That means we can simply cancel their actions, cosine and cosine inverse, so two thirds. Uh, for tangent, because we know the range of tangent, tangent is defined for all real numbers, so we can simply cancel the actions of tangent and tangent inverse, negative three. Sine and sine inverse, it's the same thing like cosine, because sine is also in between negative one and one. Seven over four is bigger than one, okay? Seven over four is bigger than one, that means sine inverse of bigger than one is undefined. There is no angle theta whose sine is 7 over 4. I mean, sine of what angle is 7 over 4, but sine never gets to this, this big. So undefined, that means this is undefined. 